Welcome to Lab 2 on Converging Lenses. The first observation is looking through a lens as we move it back and forth in front of some text. You'll want to record what sort of motion you see through the lens, whether that's with or against the motion of the lens. Two, we're using a single lens to focus an image of an object that's far away, in this case the opposite side of the building through the windows. You can see that I've adjusted the distance and measure that to be 20 centimeters. It gives a clear image. The image is in focus over a range of about plus or minus one centimeter. Part three is the practice of auto collimation. We're going to have a single flat mirror, a lens, and this screen that blocks part of the light source. I'm adjusting the mirror so I can see some of the reflected light back on that screen. It wasn't in focus, so I need to move the lens closer to the light source. You can see that's an improved focus. This is an ultimate clear focus at this point. We can measure that distance now from the lens to the screen, and that should give us the focal length of the lens, which measures to be 20 centimeters. You might be noticing that number appear again, and that was the same distance we had to have the screen in order to form a clear image of the opposite side of the building, which we see here because the light was still shining through the window. Part four, we're going to explore the uh, relationship between object and image distances. So this is an example setup with the light source at one end of the bench and the screen near the other end and a lens in the middle. I will first start out finding a clear image and then we'll move the light closer to the lens. So as I move the light closer to the lens, I need to find out where the new clear image is. It turns out I need to move that screen farther away. Move the light source in close again and the screen needs to go farther away. You'll also observe that the image on the screen is now getting larger each time I have to move it. We notice it's inverted as well. The arrow is pointing down. I can even stand in the middle of the room and see an image projected on myself if I have a reflective shirt. This is a distance of about two meters from the lens, and we can see that at that point, the light source was about 21 centimeters from the lens. This is looking back through the lens when the light source is only 10 centimeters upstream. We see a virtual image in this case that is upright. It matches the light source, and it appears to be slightly behind the light source, although hard to judge in this case. For the last part, we're going to move the light farther from the lens. So we'll start off with a close light source, move it slightly farther back, find the new clear image, and it may be still past the end of the bench. So there I find start to find a clear image. It's right at the end of the bench, it's still inverted. And we'll move the light source farther back, about 10 centimeters. And we find that the screen needs to come in closer in order to find a clear image. Farther back again, continuing to move the light uh, screen, excuse me, closer. And we'll notice that at this extreme, with a really far light source, moving the screen in even closer, and we get a very small image. It's still inverted, but it's now much smaller than the original object. I'm comparing the size of my thumb there. I've will be comparing actual measured values of object and image distance. So find a clear image on the screen. This is our setup. And we'll notice that there are actually two locations I could put the lens. Here we see another clear image, this case larger than the object. And you'll notice the object distance is smaller than the image distance. I'll move the screen and then find two new clear images. There's one. Find that by moving the lens. And I'll measure object and image distance and measure image height. And I can find the other. Now we see this one's much larger than the object. So I'll continue to measure pairs of object image distances, and these will be presented in a spreadsheet table for you to analyze. 